Bonjour, and welcome to day number six of the Winstone Media Tour de France, all the way from Paris to Nice. On today's video, we cycled from Solon to Bourges. In, in total, we covered 69.28 kilometers, as you can see, moving time three hours 52, and that was over an elapsed time of seven hours, five minutes, and 51 seconds. So this was a really good day on the road overall, some definitely challenging periods within the day. I was extremely proud of myself because this is my personal best. And for me to cycle that far, um, not so long ago, I would have just thrown the towel, it would have been all too hard, and I just would have just said, nah, stuff it. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. So if you are watching my journey, and you're sitting on your couch at home, I would love it if you guys, um, you know, could, you know, the, uh, the goal of this whole adventure is to inspire others to get off the couch, out of your comfort zone, doing things you actually really want to do in life, rather than just accepting what is, with whatever is going on in your life. Um, so to show you the full extent of the journey from Salon to Bourges, let's take a look at the map. We'll zoom in. So as you can see, let's just grab that and we'll zoom in. So the starting point was here, uh, near Salbris, Salon, and then we trek it all the way down through Verizon, which you'll see I pulled up for lunch in this particular spot, and then all the way down, got to get the grabber, to St. Ursel Le Chapel. Uh, which was Belon. So, yeah, look, um, absolutely marvellous day on the road. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Extremely enjoyable. And look, that that's all, guys. I, I'm i doing this for myself. And I just, once again, reiterating, I want to inspire you guys to challenge yourself to become better people, to, you know, get outside that comfort zone because we are only young ones and we only live one life. You may as well make it a good life. You may as well do what you want to do in life, right? I understand there's all sorts of things and challenges and financial issues for many people, but you know, maybe you can uh, watch me and I can inspire you to like save up for that magical trip or get outside the comfort zone, you know? Do whatever you want to do because I guarantee you one day you wake up and it's all said and done and you'll regret things. So look, um, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy, au revoir and You'll see all the other linky stuff <laughs> as we go along the the, uh, the timeline. So enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bonjour. Good morning. It is Monday, the 5th of September, 2022, and it's day number six of Winstone Media's Tour de France. I've just had a shower, had a really good sleep in the tent. We had a little bit of rain overnight, and today I'll be pushing further south towards Verzon. Verzon is approximately 35 kilometers from here, so at the very least, I want to get to Verzon, but possibly push past there. It's a beautiful cracking day. It's going to really depend on location of caravan parks, etc. unless I can get a cheap um, hotel or motel. And the weather is 22 degrees, so yeah, it's going to be epic. Um, met some lovely people at the caravan park the one i'm staying in right right now um but uh, the journey has got to continue so yesterday i did 46 kilometers i want to try and get up to 50 kilometers in one day i want to make that my norm but i don't want to injure myself because my body is quite sore quite tight a lot of my muscles are just hanging in there so i've got to play it smart with with a amateur athlete such as myself it's uh imperative that i play it smart rather than try and overdo it and I think maybe once I'm a week or two into cycling, I think I might be able to like push my boundaries. I just need to, I need to get that initial, um, I guess, um, motivation, um, longevity in the legs, etc. Once the muscles get used to it, I can almost like train my, my body to cope with the load each and every day. So that's the update, day number six, and away we go. And if you do enjoy Winstone Media's content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, I'm currently raising money for Beyond Blue, which helps people with anxiety, depression, and mental health issues back home in Australia. And guys, if you feel inclined to do so, please consider buying me a coffee. I need one right now. 
three dollars donation it would help with my travels and everything that i'm getting up to in the year 2022 au revoir and let's get into day number six of the winstone media tour de france just wanted to make the point uh as good as french roads are they take a lot of pride in their roads they're, they're smooth they're flat well especially the last two days has been super flat um it's not for the faint-hearted so if you're ever thinking about cycling as an amateur with literally next to no training you gotta remind yourself you'll be coming on these roads where trucks buses cars you know trailer camper vans are all flying past at 90 miles per hour so that's a food for thought you've got to be a little bit crazy to do what i'm doing um and it takes a lot of courage to be on these roads even though i'm trying to be as safe as possible um it is kind of scary when you got a you know triple trailer semi truck breathing down your neck and they fly past all the wind that comes past flying past is quite scary so just a little thing to think about if you're ever going to consider bike packing across any route let alone france from paris to nice okay so we're one hour and five minutes outside burzon but i've just come past this burnt out restaurant so i thought we'd just go exploring Let's go take a look it looks like it's fenced off from all sides but we'll try and sneak a loophole see if there's uh, a way we can walk inside it's been absolutely gutted as you can see pizza restaurant So yeah, the leg's feeling a little bit heavy, but um, uh, the goal is to get to Verzon. I haven't had a coffee today, uh, but that's the goal. So we've got an hour and five minutes until I get my nice little coffee. It's all been locked off, as you can see. No, I can't get in. Yeah, it doesn't look like it anyway. So they're obviously going to keep the foundations of the building because they've got the slats sort of uh, pushing up on the wall. But no, it doesn't look like I can get in. Nope. Got burnt to an absolute crisp. Wonder if the pizza was good. <laughs> I could probably get in if I really tried but no now they fence off quite well okay so we've just arrived in Vizon and I found a random rugby stadium called the Stadium de Robert Baron. So let's go have a look. I love I love my sport, but it's just interesting to see how the French construct their stadiums. Okay, not bad. Rugby pitch in the middle, and uh, athletics track around the perimeter of the stadium, and a nice little uh, boutique. Uh, stand in, in the distance there so um, let's see the stats so far on this 
day number six of the Latour. I think we're making good progress because the time is only 1 p.m. And I've already cycled uh, 32.9 kilometers in uh, one hour 43. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go from here into the main town. We're gonna get some lunch. Spend an hour on the side of the road, eating some lunch, uh, getting rehydrated. And then all I've got to do is, what, 10 or 13 kilometers to break my PB. So we'll aim for 50 today and we'll just see where we end up later in the afternoon. But it's, it's pretty hot here today. I think it's, uh, oh, well, it said 22, but I'll tell you what, it feels hotter than 22. Um, and yeah, so get some lunch and see how we go for the rest of the day, but trekking well. Okay, welcome to Verizon. It's a bit silly. Oh, come on, darling. Fuck. Fucking hell, man. Look, she just starts walking in front of me. Uh, yeah, so we're in Verizon. So let's have a look. We need some food. We need food. So I pushed 35 k's in the first couple of hours. I'm pretty happy with that. My average has been about 14, 15 k's. So, okay, this looks like the town center. Okay, so we've got 35 kilometers in the bank. So we've just pulled up at this little place called Pata Pain. We've got the Pule baguette, latte, and some uh, water. That should keep me going until the afternoon. So we've got 35k in the bank. I've got to break my record today. So we'll pull off for here for one hour and then we'll keep moving. So feeling good, 1.30 p.m. Monday afternoon. And we'll just keep trekking along down the south on our way to Nice. So I hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're on the road again. So the aim is we're gonna go another 33 kilometers to Borgs. So far 35 in the bank. A couple of darts, some lunch, some water, a couple of coffees. I thought I'd just quickly show you this beautiful little town as I uh, start to leave. There's a beautiful backdrop there, as you can see. This is Verizon. And have a look at the beautiful French uh, buildings. This is what I love about France. Certainly uh, spectacular to look at as we cruise through the streets. So join me as we go another 33 kilometers towards Borgs and I'll find a caravan park, camp out for the night and away we go. One last look at Verizon. Classic French little town. And I'll tell you what, they're impatient there, man. Like, I don't know, these cars. Now I appreciate uh, taller cyclists I used to give abuse to when I used to be a truck driver and drive my car everywhere. But uh, there's something beautiful about cycling and have a look at this. Look at that. The canal, you got homes, the back. You're all right, man. Where are you gonna go? French are pretty impatient, man. I don't know where they're going. There's a red, red light coming up anyway, so. One final look as we go through Verizon. Have a look at these old French buildings. The old streets, the cobblestone walls, history oozing from the place. And this is why I'm doing my own tour to France. What a way to see France on, on a bike, bikepacking. I think, uh, I think I found my new true passion. So, but we'll wait and say only time will tell, but um, let's go. Okay, so we're another 15 kilometers into the journey. And uh, we're in a small town called Mahoun sur Levre. And I'm sure you don't say it like that in French, but uh, I'm pronouncing it as, as, as if I'm speaking English. So we're just cruising through this old town and have a look at this castle. So I just thought we'd just cruise through here. Uh, quick five, 10 minute stop, grab some water. And this is the best way that you're going to see Paris, sorry not Paris, France, 
as we go through this giant castle. Ooh. 52 kilometers so far on day number six, which is a PB. 18 kilometers to Borgs. So a cute little town. Okay, so I'm only like 40 minutes outside of uh, Borg or Borges. I, I don't know what it is in French. I'm not going to pretend like I know French. And you'll notice an easterly breeze just coming straight across over the corn cornfield here, and I just had to pull up because I just felt I'm, like my bike quite uneasy. I got a lot of weight at the back, and as you can see, you got cars flying by 90 mile per hour. So I just had to pull up and just regain composure. Uh, yeah, so I mean. And also I'm starting to plateau, like um, I pumped out 58 kilometers so far. And I know it's only another like 40 minutes or 12, 13 kilometers, but when your legs are heavy, it's just best to just get there bit by bit rather than try and push myself because this easterly is really suffocating my momentum. So yeah, I just want to just get there a little bit by bit and hopefully we'll get there in one piece. So anyway, it's um, time. just after five and we should be there by 6 p.m. Okay, so we're here at Hot Curry. It's got the lamb and poulet mixed with mixed vegetables and a mild curry sauce. So absolutely spent after 70 hours, sorry, 70 hours, absolutely spent after 70 kilometers on the road here in Borgs and uh, washing it down with an ice cold Kingfisher premium beer. Cheers, and um, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Welcome to Borgs. I'm fucking emotional. 70 Ks in the bank or 68, 69, 70. I don't know, I don't care. Um, that was probably the hardest one, uh, sorry, that was the hardest one, last one and a half hours I've done, probably since I played footy, man. Like, that whole footy psychology, three quarter time, absolutely spent. I didn't have much left, let alone psycho like psychologically. I'm thinking, I don't know where I'm going, fucking like, Southerly, southerly breezes, easterly breezes were coming across me. Big fucking semis flying by. Um, and you know, my muscles, my legs were starting to give way. I plateaued, but I fucking pushed on, I pushed on, I pushed on. And I don't think I've fucking done that for fucking, I don't know how long, five years or something, right? And I'm like, I'm learning like a, a bit about myself, a bit of character, and I'm fucking pumped because you know, I would have just thrown in the towel not so long ago and I said, fuck, it's all too hard. So that's one of the hardest fucking things I've done in a long time. And I'm fucking emotional uh, right now. So look at this fucking beautiful water mill. That's old school as fuck. I've just found a youth hostel for 25 euro. I'm pumped. And man, what a fucking experience that was. 70 Ks on day number six. And we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But like right now, joyous, I'm off to get a beer. Uh, so in total, I've approximately done about 230 kilometers in six days. Today, 70 kilometers. So join me on this epic adventure across the south of France from Paris all the way to Nice. We're going hard, lads. And until next time, au revoir. I'll see you guys shortly. Peace out.